Hello, welcome to Share Point Journey. This is Devendra Valigandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a menu item custom actions in SharePoint 2013 for SharePoint hosted app. So we'll take a simple case study where we have a custom list and we there we're going to provide a custom menu item action where user can click on get username and he will be redirected to the SharePoint hosted app from the host web. So let's go ahead and uh, develop a solution which can solve our functionality or which can provide solution for our functionality. So let's go ahead and open the virtual machine. So this is our app development site where we are going to de deploy our SharePoint hosted app. This site will act as a host web and we have a custom list here and whenever we have an item and user click on this menu item so we are going to provide one option called get username here whenever user click on that get username he will be redirected to the SharePoint hosted app now all the functionality we have in the menu item is the default so to achieve this functionality open visual studio and click on file to create a new project file new project and select app for sharepoint and name this one as get username click OK so this is the office 365 site where we are going to deploy our SharePoint hosted app okay and the hosted model would be SharePoint hosted click on finish to create this project okay now it has created the basic SharePoint hosted app which is going to display the username okay. and the actual logic is presented in the app.js file which is under scripts app.js so it is going to get the title of the current user now we are going to add menu item custom action for a custom list so the user can go to that custom list and take on that menu item action and he'll be redirected to the this app where it will display the current username so to add menu item custom action right click on the project <laughs> click on add click on new item and select menu item custom action and name this one as menu item custom action for a list okay. click on add to add this one to the project and here I I want to this one to be deployed on host web so that I can redirect to the app web I mean I mean I can open the app web so it will be by default host web and this will be scoped at list template itself because I want to use it for custom list you can change it even at for a content type even based on the file extensions okay now the list which I am going to do it for the item in the custom action scope to I am going to change it to the custom list so for whatever the items which are there in the custom list this will be applicable click on next here I am going to change this one as get user name so whenever user will come there this is the text which is going to appear 
and the page which I'm going to navigate is default ASPX which is there in this particular app so click finish to complete the custom item action menu so you can see that elements.xml has been generated automatically so we have a custom action which is of location this one and sequence you have a title here and once you click on that custom action this is the URL which is going to redirect so it will get the app web URL and it will open the default.aspx so let's go ahead and deploy this simple app I click on this project and deploy this app now just keep an eye on output window now uh, it's uploading app and installation is in progress now app has been deployed successfully now let's go ahead and refresh our site press it fine just to refresh the site so that we can see what has been deployed you can see here under recent we have get username now we need to able to access this get username from the item action menu as well so click on open menu and now you can see here get username is available so if you add more items that will be available so if you click on this it will get redirect from host web to the app web where our app is sitting so you can see here the URL also got changed and it has displayed the username okay so we developed a simple menu item custom action where user can redirect from host web to the app web or SharePoint hosted app which is located in the app web thank you for your time we'll see you in next lesson